So once I got all of my inlets drilled and screwed into the uh, combiner box, I bring it up here on the roof and I position this alongside the air conditioner. Uh, the way I set up these vans, I've got two fans and an air conditioner running down the center, center line of the van. And then I flank those with the solar panels. Uh, on opposite sides of the fan, fans, I can get a panel on each side. So I've got four panels in the back. Then I skip the air conditioner. The air conditioner is wide, uh, which would cause the panels to stick out further and they look like elephant wings. So I try not to do that. Uh, and I don't want to use smaller panels. I'm using 100 watt panels. They're compact size panels and they work very well with the uh, ProMaster vans, the roof of the ProMaster. Like I said, I got five crossbars and then I connect my solar panels on aluminum angle iron in pairs. So I can bring that up as one assembled unit. And lock it down to the crossbars. So the combiner box is centrally located and I've positioned this right above the refrigerator module downstairs. Uh, everything that comes up through the roof, I send it through the refrigerator module box because that's the tallest module in the van down there. And it gives me a lot of room. I have plenty of room to, to run my wires. So I drill a hole through the roof of the van that matches the hole that's in the combiner box. And then I use a grommet, a deep grommet. It goes through the combiner box. It goes through the van ceiling. Uh, so when I slather the bottom of this box with 3M5200 all around that hole, and then I squish it down onto the high ribs of the roof up, up top here. And because I'm towards the edge, the roof has a bow, right? It's canted. So I'm actually off level here, I'm off plumb, which is a good thing because the hole is now the highest part in this operation. So uh, very unlikely that we're gonna get any leaks here. One hole, it looks like it's about three quarters of an inch uh, in diameter. So I can send my solar wires down and I can bring up my Wii Boost, my Wi-Fi Ranger, all those wires. Everything's working, good. All right, this combiner box is just about ready to get closed up. I just have to torque down those bolts and glue my buses to the bottom of the combiner box floor. Uh, this will be very easy to edit. There's plenty of room in there. The way I've got this baby wired up, I've got three panels on the starboard side running along the outside edge just behind the awning. Those are wired in parallel, three, three 100 watt panels. And then on the port side, I've got the same thing. I've got three 100 watt panels wired in parallel. Uh, the way these two lines or strings of panels come into the box, they are separate. They are running down, that's why there's two buses in here. They are running down to two separate MPPT controllers. And the way these are wired in, if we realize that we want to go to series for a higher voltage, but of course less charging amps, we can do that. Uh, but I spoke with Victron directly, and the way the MPPT controllers work is they kick on when the, the solar voltage is five volts higher than the battery state of charge voltage. Uh, so in the case of this uh, lithium that I'm using, uh, that would be about seven eighths of charge. So in other words, when the battery bank, the 630 amp hour battery bank gets down to seven eighths state of charge, the MPPT controllers will kick on and charge it until it gets to less than five volts difference. The battery likes amps. The battery wants amps. It doesn't want volts. So with the uh, parallel connection, that's how we get the most amps into the battery. So we will charge quicker. With the higher volts, you'll charge longer. 